joined now by Olympic bronze medalist Rosie Fillion and Megan Benfado. Welcome back to Canada. Welcome to Toronto. Uh, Rosie, first to you, what brings you to Toronto today? Well, actually, we're here because uh, of Gillette Venus. It's one of our sponsors. We have been part of their team uh, prior to the Olympics. I mean, it's an incredible feeling to have a sponsor like this because not only they're promoting a, a strong message of powerful and confident women, which we want to project that image and encourage the young ones to start and to have confidence in herself and believe in their dreams. So for us to have them on the road with us, even after Rio, it's incredible. You know, Megan, Rosie was talking about that confident woman. Do you and Rosie feel like you're role models for young female athletes? <laughs> it's weird, but uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, because I was, I remember being that little girl that looked up to the older ones, and now that I'm the older one, it's like, okay, that means I'm getting old. But um, that's what's the most important to us is to try to to give back as much as we can because they did that to us when we were younger. And if we can um, get a bunch of little girls and boys uh, to start diving, um, it, it would be absolutely amazing. So what's it been like since you've come back to Canada? What's what have the last couple of weeks been like for you guys? It's been. I would say 50-50, busy and quiet at the same time. Uh, we got a media tour back in Montreal, um, <laughs> and we have one here, but at the same time, we've been surrounded with so many people, so many athletes 24-7, all together with the team, and now I'm home alone, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> what, do what, to do? <laughs> what do I do, what do I call, and, you know, we're still spending some time, even though we've been a month together, so it's, it's fun. Now, you brought, you brought your medals. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Megan won an individual medal, and of course yes. you won the synchro medals. Medals are very heavy. Yes. So number one, how often do you get asked, can I hold it as far as how heavy it is? And Every two, time. Okay, and how many photos have you taken with Canadians wanting to take the photo with you guys and your medals? Lost count. <laughs> yeah, lost count. Stop counting. There's too many people who want a picture, but it's fun. I mean, we've got so many messages out there when we were in Rio of encouragement, of support, and just love it was really amazing well let's talk about rio and i'm going to ask you about the pool i know you guys love <laughs> talking sure. about the green and the blue pool <laughs> now back in canada that's all we could talk about for two days for sure yeah what's going on with the pool what was it like for the athletes for you guys and your fellow divers um well for me and rosie we took advantage of it okay. um in diving you have to spot the water to know where you are in the air and sometimes diving outside is quite hard because of the, the color of the sky and the color of the pool. So the fact that it was green, <laughs> it sort of helped us. And I remember that morning I looked at her and I'm like, I, I think I'm going blind, but the, the pool is green, right? She's like, yeah. And as we started diving and practicing, we noticed that it was actually helping us. Um, hopefully it's not going to be always like that in every competition, but we took it to our advantage, made it fun. Um, and, and we do get the question often, and sure. we answer always the same thing. But <laughs> it, it was part of our of our games, and it, it it was fun. Rosie, let's go to that last dive in synchro because I'm sure you guys have told the story countless <laughs> times. You were fifth, last dive, you nailed it, you move up to a bronze. Take us through that whole process. Did you know where you were in the score? Did you know that we've got to nail this dive to get another medal again? We didn't know at all uh, where we were standing and going into the last dive. I mean, for the first time, Megan never l didn't look at the scoreboard the entire event. <laughs> she usually, she's usually the one who goes up on the platform for the last dive telling me what to expect or, you know, okay, this one we need it, okay, we're good, but just a solid one. But this time it was just our coach, uh, our coach Arturo t told us, okay, girls, we need this one. So that was our only cue. Um, we heard the Korean miss before us, but we still didn't know if they were ahead or after us. We just went there, gave it it all, and we were hoping to that it was going to be good enough. And it certainly was good <laughs> enough. Now, on the individual side, you won a bronze, but you had a very tough competition. And as I understand it, you nailed a very difficult dive in your last one to win the bronze. Tell us I about did. that. I did. Um, it was my third dive. It's the back three and a half. It's the dive that since I learned it back in to beginning of 2004, it just never really went my way. Um, but in that final, it, going into Rio, I had done everything that I could do to make sure that I, I nailed it in the, in the final. Um, 
I did do it a really, really good one in the synchro event, but it wasn't nice. as good as the one in the final. I just went up there. I had done two really good first dives, and I'm like, okay, this is not going to be the time where I'm going to miss it because I need it right now. And I just remembered everything I had done at home, all the practices, everything. And Arturo, my coach, uh, we have a water belt at home, and it's been new since October. And I, every Tuesdays and Thursdays, I would do it in the belt, every 10 times a day, all the time. So that, that was the cue where he said, okay, Meg, I'm not going to give you anything else, but I'm just going to say belt belt so when i stood on the tower i'm like okay i can do it if i can do it in the belt i can do it now and i honestly came out of the water and i felt like i was gonna cry because i was so happy that i actually finally got it mm -hmm. and then i reminded myself no you have two more dives to do you gotta you gotta get back but it's just all the hard work finally came in and it was at the right time yeah very well done and, and congratulations thank to you. Both of you obviously so now that you are back what are you going to do? Because I'm sure the last thing you want to do is, is go, to go the back pool. to the pool. <laughs> so now that that is you're taking some time away, you're going to Disneyland, I, I understand. And you've got a little business venture going on. Yes. Kind of a, not a man cave, but, <laughs> but an escape room. Exactly. Um, what is that? My family and I are opening up our escape room game uh, in uh, end of October. So it's a project that we've been working on for almost a year, uh, planning everything, building everything ourselves. and just preparing the theme and the clues and everything because the point of your what is an escape room yeah. exactly you're locked in in a room a theme room for 60 minutes and you have to, you have to try you said to locked get, in you had me worried there well Lucy. you're locked in but if there's any worries or problem you can okay. always get out you're not okay. actually locked in. okay it's good to know <laughs> but i gotta get claustrophobic in a room yeah. so i know oh, it's big enough no okay um it's in the light too oh, so okay. it's not in the dark you're you you have to find clues you have to find your way out before the 60 minutes so oh, it's wow. just a really fun activity that helped me uh, get away from diving, you know, to change my mind and think I'm a police officer trying to uh, uh, arrest somebody and finding where the people, you know, there's themes and stuff like that. So it really helped me have a great balance going into Rio. Well, that's great. Well, you guys were just wonderful in Rio. All the female athletes mm -hmm. kick butt in Rio, that's yes. for sure. So it I've got to ask, and I think I know the answer, but 20 20 in Tokyo, will you guys be together again? No. No. Rosie says, we'll be, no chance. We'll be together again, but I'm, I, my goal is to go back to Rio, uh, to Rio, to Tokyo, sure. and, um, but be on the other side, maybe with the media, really? maybe with the team, I don't know yet, okay. but I want to be in Tokyo, just Excellent. not as an, as an athlete. And you hope to be competing in Tokyo. Yeah, okay. got to qualify, but sure. I'm going to go for another four years. And this, you guys have been together for so long. Yes. Yeah. So long. Do you guys it's miss each other when you're not together? <laughs> or do you guys kind of say? We do. Okay. We do. No, it's, gonna yeah. it's gonna be hard. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. When you're so used to seeing the same people every day, I've been diving with Rosie for 11 yeah. years now. We've known each other since 1998, I think. So, not seeing her every day in the pool is, it'll be hard. It'll yeah. be a, a challenge. Yeah. It will be but. Hard, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. That's great. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Congratulations on thank wonderful, you. wonderful job in, in Rio thank and you. obviously in London and, and all the other worlds you've represented Canada <laughs> and your family so well. Best of luck and thank congratulations you. on your partnership with the Gillette Venus. Thank, thank you. you. And just to roll, just to end, let's just hold up the medals so everybody can see them. Yay. They brought the bronze medals. I can tell you they are beautiful <laughs> and they are heavy. They're very heavy. Yes, they are. <laughs>